Welcome to the uh, annual Mark Monitor Symposium. It's uh, great to see so many of you here. Uh, a lot of familiar faces uh, in the audience that have come to symposiums over the year. So thank you very much for uh, joining us again and uh, giving up your day. Uh, we think we've got some pretty great content for you today, some great speakers that I'll be uh, introducing, uh, introducing up on stage over the course of the day, and some terrific content. So uh, thank you very much, and welcome to what is a pretty spectacular building. Hopefully, uh, when you all came in this morning through, through the main entrance where you were kind of pretty wowed by the architecture, I think it's the old Midlands Bank here, so a uh, pretty great place for our 13th uh, annual symposium. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name's Simon Whitehouse. I'm the Vice President of EMEA here at Mark Monitor, and uh, I have been at Mark Monitor for uh, 13 years. And uh, what a lot of you may not know is, as an organization, we are 20 years old this year. So we were conceived in 1999, uh, actually by a couple of uh, IP lawyers, actually, who kind of truncated uh, trademark monitoring into Mark Monitor, and that's how the company uh, was kind of conceived. And uh, it's been a pretty spectacular ride since then, in those uh, 20 years. we have uh, acquired several companies over the way. One of the first was All Domains in 2003. Uh, we've opened up our principal offices in Boise and San Francisco and London, which are actually still our main kind of hubs uh, today. Uh, we launched Brand Protection, really one of the first companies to launch Brand Protection in 2006. Uh, we went into the anti-piracy space uh, around about 2010 with the acquisition of DetectNet, and have rolled out several technologies in the years since. Um, certainly on the brand side, such things as social media monitoring and mobile app monitoring. So uh, it's been a pretty, pretty good ride until that brings us to where we are today, and we're floating on the New York Stock Exchange uh, a bit later this year, 4.3 billion float. We're part of Clarivate Analytics. So you know, we're delighted that a lot of you have shared in that evolution with us and are, and are kind of here today. Um, and kind of over the time I've been here, it's been pretty incredible to kind of see the changes in the domain space, the brand space, the internet uh, infrastructure. And, you know, kind of one of the purposes of today is really to kind of discuss with all of you and have you discuss with us kind of what's really fresh and what's relevant in the industry today. So we like to see these symposiums really as... Um, <coughs> a toolkit of sorts, I would say, where you can kind of disseminate the information that myself and all of the speakers give to you over the course of the day and take that information back to all of your organizations to help you kind of build better brand strategies and have dialogue uh, internally in your own organization. So that's really what we're here to do today for you guys. Um, I suppose that all that I would say is please do be interactive and collaborative through the day. There's an awful lot uh, of knowledge uh, here in the room, and an awful lot of people that have been involved in the domain world, in the brand world, and the anti-piracy world for many, many, many years. And that's why we're building a lot of networking sessions into the day. So please do share your knowledge uh, and integrate and collaborate and ask questions. And I'll, I'll talk about how we're going to handle questions through the day in a moment. So um, delighted to, uh, to have you all, all here. Um, a couple of housekeeping items before we uh, get started. Rather droll, but, uh, but necessary, I'm afraid. Um, there's no fire alarms uh, planned through the day, so if the fire alarm goes off, uh, obviously you can mildly panic and go to the exits and we'll kind of take you out to, to where you need to be. Um, restrooms, should you need to go during any of the presentations, are just uh, out the back to the right when you come out of this door, uh, and there'll be people kind of... Um, moving you along to those if you need to go. One of the most important things is in the packs you would have been uh, given uh, when you came in, there are feedback forms in there uh, where you can look to uh, rate the content and the speakers throughout the day. That is an incredibly important uh, part of what we do because it allows us to build future content that's relevant to you guys. At the end of the day, the content this year has in part been driven by the feedback and comments that we had last year from all the people that attended. So please, please take the time to fill those in. Uh, when you leave, there'll be somebody to take them off you and kind of get that feedback. And we really do utilize that uh, in future years. So we'd appreciate if you, uh, you gave your comments uh, on that. Um, you know, and of course, through all the presentations that we've got today, uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions from, uh, from the audience. And uh, we're going to um, basically take questions in a bit of a, a, bit of a different way uh, this year. Uh, and we're going to be doing it through 
uh, Slido. So normally we say at these events, turn off your phones, don't use them. We're going to say completely the opposite here. So um, there will be questions that we ask you as the audience as we go through the day. And during the speaker presentations, you'll be able to submit questions anonymously through Slido as well. So uh, we're going to have the first couple of questions in about five minutes' time. So you might want to just log on to Slido now. Enter the event code and you'll be able to submit questions and you'll be able to vote over the course of the day. Uh, if you prefer the old school method, which is, you know, grabbing a microphone. Um, do we have, do we have, yeah, okay, so we have roving mics. So if you want to grab a microphone and ask a question, uh, you can, of course, do that if you don't want to use Slido. But um, just wanted to put that up before we kind of start asking questions so you all have a chance uh, to log on and... Uh, get access to that, uh, to that format. So let's have a look at the agenda that we have for you uh, today. So we're going to kick off with the story of uh, Gymshark, and uh, Steve Hewitt has very kindly come along, who's CEO of Gymshark, to talk about really their evolution uh, as a brand and where they are today, and some of the challenges uh, that they've had over the years, and which all growing brands do. Um, and actually, kind of when Gymshark kind of came on board, I was kind of vaguely aware of them as a, as a brand, but the kind of growth that they've had uh, over the years and their kind of brand story, uh, Steve will elucidate that uh, on, on that a lot more for you. And he actually told me earlier that he's also in London today to pick up an award at the Times Fast Track for, uh, I think, the fastest growing international company, which, you know, if any of you guys read the Times, you'll know what a prestigious award that is. So we're delighted to have uh, Steve here and kind of share that story with us. Uh, we're then going to bring a couple of members of our global relationship team uh, up on stage, uh, Claire and Prudence, who are sitting at the front here. And they're really going to talk about the importance of relationships and collaboration uh, and working with people in the industry to really drive your brand protection, your domain programs forward. And it's really a key part of what we do as a service at Mark Monitor. And it's a fairly unique offering that we have within that space as well. So uh, Prudence and Claire are going to going to talk about that and share some of their ideas about navigating that ecosystem and what you guys can get out of it and how we can uh, collaborate with you as well. Uh, we're then going to have our first uh, break of the day. Uh, it's a chance to get some uh, tea, coffee, recaffeinate, do a bit of networking, uh, ask any questions of, uh, of your peer group as well. Um, and then we're going to go into our first Ask the Expert session. And these have been uh, incredibly popular over the years. They kind of take the format of a very interactive discourse with the audience, which uh, is going to be uh, moderated with Martina at Mark Monitor, and um, it's going to be with Manolo and uh, Mulberry uh, this year. And this was actually a panel we did a couple of years ago. It proved incredibly popular. A lot of retail and fashion clients that were in the audience were very interested in what was said. So we thought we wanted to kind of reboot that one and do it again a few years later to see what had really happened in that industry because the fashion industry after all is one of the, the fastest moving ones and certainly one of the ones where there appears to be the greatest level of abuse. So uh, we hope you all find that uh, interesting. Following on for that, we're really going to have our first uh, conversation and presentation on domain management strategies for an effective uh, brand protection program and Steve Coates from Amazon has very kindly come along to present at that. Um, that's always a hugely interesting topic because a lot of organizations consistently ask me where the nexus is between brand protection and domain management. Where do we stop being defensive and when do we start being offensive and how does that work together? Uh, and we're going to look at that through the eyes of Amazon today and get some good uh, insights into how they actually kind of solve that particular problem. Uh, moving on, we're then going to have uh, a pretty long lunch break to give you guys a chance to refresh and to network and again kind of ask questions. Uh, and then we're going to go into everyone's favourite topic at the moment, which is Brexit. So just when you thought there was a bit of light relief, uh, we're going to talk about Brexit and really what that means for your domain strategy. And again, Prudence is going to come up on stage uh, and talk you through that. And whereas, whereas we might all be a bit weary of Brexit, it is something that a lot of brand owners are asking us how that will affect their strategy going forward. And whereas we don't necessarily know from top to tail what that will do, we'll be able to give you some good ideas about how you can kind of future-proof yourself uh, when Brexit does finally arrive. Um, we're then going to go into a couple of breakout uh, sessions. So uh, there is a room just along the corridor to the left 
uh, and that is where the anti-piracy breakouts are going to take place. And there's actually going to be uh, three anti-piracy breakouts that you can, uh, you can see uh, on the screen. And if that is your interest at that stage, we will obviously identify that and uh, the people who want to go into the anti-piracy breakout can then do so. Uh, up on the main stage, uh, we're going to have Charlie, who a lot of you know, uh, talking about the future of brand protection. Um, there's a lot of things happening in the industry at the moment. As I mentioned at the top of the presentation, we've been around for 20 years. We've seen massive growth and change in that time. Um, people are asking, what's next? You know, does business intelligence come into it? Is it going to be more of a piracy-based environment? So we're going to talk about some of the themes that we believe are going to be relevant in the future and hopefully give you, you guys an eye into the future so you can look at how uh, that potentially works with, uh, with your uh, brands. Uh, moving on into the latter half of the, uh, the day, we have a further break, and then we're going to be talking about trends in domain management. And uh, Kevin Murphy is going to be coming up on stage from Domain Insights. And if you don't know uh, that blog, it's one of the biggest blogs in the world uh, about domains. And uh, Kevin is, is a journalist, he's a blogger, he's an analyst, he's worked in this sector for a couple of decades. Uh, I spoke with him um, copiously last night. He's an incredibly interesting guy, incredibly knowledgeable uh, about the space, and he's going to come on stage uh, and share some of the trends that he has seen and is continuing to see in domain management to help you shape what you're doing uh, with your own brands. Uh, and then we're going to close up the day with a presentation from Adash at Millennium Hotels, a brand that we have worked with for many, many years, I think kind of six or seven years. And again, there's been an evolution in the threats to that brand over that time. So Adash is going to come up and share some of the threats that he has seen, how Millennium is dealing with those. Uh, and they're incredibly interesting, obviously a hotel business, but an incredibly interesting business. Um, lots of affiliates that they need to manage and control the IP through those affiliates. So we thought that would be a great session to, uh, to end the day on. Uh, and then we're going to wrap it up. And uh, for those that uh, are kind of still here, there's going to be a cocktail reception. Uh, hopefully the weather will be good. We've got uh, a couple of outdoor spaces where we can go and have a cocktail and mix at the end of the day. Uh, so hopefully you'll all kind of uh, stay around and join us for that. So